What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are um, doing a kind of something different. It's going to be Minecraft Hardcore, but we're going to do like an uncut version. So this, this video is going to be uncut. Really going to be doing anything really interesting. That's why I kind of have it as like a 0.5 episode, like half an episode, because we're not going to do anything any interesting. First, we're just, this video is just going to be mainly grinding, fishing, getting leather, and all that stuff. So if you want to see that, keep watching. But if you're hoping for something super interesting then there's probably not gonna be anything interesting going on here um or i'll let you know in, in, the, in the title so anyway if you do want to watch the video go ahead sit back and relax and watch this long uncut video but if you don't i completely understand go ahead and wait for episode seven to drop but anyway hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get to it all right let the grind commence it's almost night time Let's just render in for a second. There's two cows. We got all kinds of cows over here now. Honestly, I don't remember exactly where I fucking am. If I'm being honest. So, how much leather we got? We got 12. Is enough for what? Six? No? It's not even close. How many bookshelves is that? It's like two. No, four. I'm gonna go sleep with the mob spawn. Alrighty. Kill the pigs too, we can always use the extra food. I'll probably do some fishing later. I'm trying to focus on the leather right now. Killing cows, but you can also get leather through fishing. So it's like completely out of the picture. Where's the mountain? What's that? Some unnatural up there. I just heard a cow. No. Over here in the Let's see what this is about. It's like a box up there. I guess there's a village up there, huh? It's gotta be a village. It's like a farm. It's kind of cool right here. It's a little cave. Let's see what's going on in the village. Maybe we'll have bookshelves that we can snag. Oh, I need to remember that. Dude, this reminds me there's that abandoned village that's nearby. But I don't remember where it's at. They have bookshelves. This gotta be a village. Or not. I hope it's just a square top. Got my hopes up and everything. There's a big lava pool over there. It's crazy how uh, I've been in this plains, this massive plains by him, and there's not been a single fucking village. Weird. The remains of your fucking family. Is that 18 leather? That's what? Three lever for bookshelf. Mm, that's gonna be six bookshelves worth of leather there. As long as we have enough paper, maybe collecting sure it can't actually find it. We're gonna start heading back now if I can remember which way is back. We're almost at level 30. I don't want to get lost as a thing, so I want to head back. Can I get my bearings? Should be 
three chickens, not more cows spawned in over here. Four cows. This place is spawning all kinds of cows. Which is crazy considering that we could never fucking find them. Good. I saw someone in here. I just saw a cow. Over here. There you are. I have so much beef too. I have so much food in general after this. I don't think we'll ever run out. Is that 22 leather? Pretty nice. Not too far off from the bookshelves that we need. We'll chant. We'll chant everything. We're gonna chant all of our armor. We're really lucky with the fucking pit or the cow spawns right now. For a while, we couldn't find any of them. I'll let the other one live. We're at 24 leather still, though. We got two leather from those two cows. Ain't gonna be no freaking animals left. Also considered, I was thinking earlier about this and like if netherite would be worth it. I don't think so. I know they changed the way you make netherite now. I don't really know how to make netherite, and like, I think it just take too long now. Used to, you could just, all you had to do is get a workbench and get the netherite, smelt it, make, and three of the ancient debris smelted makes one ingot, and you put three gold and the three ancient debris makes one netherite ingot, and then you put it in the workbench and you upgrade your armor with each ingot. Now it's different, that's like a lot more complicated. And, stuff I don't know how you do it now Those are cows to my right, but it's fucking horses. I'd say we're heading back in the right direction. It's probably the hill right there. Like, leads us to home. But I was saying, like, you can tell this is the way back because there's no fucking mob or fucking animals. Just horses. So if we, as long as we follow this biome, we should make it back home. Where are the cows? Where's any, anything but horses? I'd be worth taming a horse though, for real. Nice little way of transportation. We're gonna head home right real quick and then we're gonna make these leather into bookshelves. we go this is back on over here Uh, 
back home. There's literally nothing here but sheep and horses. No pigs, no nothing, bro. I killed them all. Woods up on the treetops. The chickens. There's the house right there. Almost nighttime. Might try to start fishing for leather now. This cows are starting to get hard to find. Oh, also have that sugar cane chrome. I'm still upset. You cannot fucking use bone meal to grow sugar cane now or anymore. I could have got so much sugar cane. I would just grind his skeletons getting sugar cane until we got enough paper. I gotta freaking hunt them or wait for it to grow. Like hunt sugar cane or wait for my farm to grow. They've been, they've been planted for a while. They're only too tall. Not even three tall yet. Crap bench. Put torches right here. Just get some nice and bright. Just in case mobs decide to spawn in. Pork chops. Just as cool. Go. Yeah, we're a stack of beef. But we're not running out of food anytime soon. What we do need right now is sugar cane. We do not have enough to make My freaking boat helped out a lot, but it did not help out enough. This shit is just not going at all. It's only gonna be enough for like what? Is it one sugar game per piece of paper? Like three sugar game makes three paper? It's a one to one, meaning that this is gonna take forever. Or we gotta hunt sugarcane. One of the fall like beaches and stuff. I should, I, like I said, that pirate ship kind of helps, but like. I don't know if you can catch, I don't know if you can get paper from fishing. I don't think you can. What's that? What's this? Like blossoms and stuff on it. All the edge of the water, I guess, until I find some more sugar cane. I mean, like, it's three times 24, 48, 72 means 72 sugar cane. 
I have enough paper for the leather. Make 24 books. 24 books would be what give us eight bookshelves. Oh my god, look at that. Floating shrub. Let's head back towards spawn. The coordinates. Let's see if we can find that village again. straight this way to go back to spawn because we can go to that village and I want to be careful too if it turns dark I didn't bring a bed so this could be very dumb I probably should go grab a bed but whatever I don't care I don't care I think it should be nearby. Here we go. I don't even worry about you. I have so much food, and I'm gonna get more food from killing these fucking cows. Ow. Big ass cave. Let's start heading back. I don't know where that village is. It's like in the freaking taiga somewhere. Well, I've obviously been through here because Barry's taking off those fucking bushes. Clearly, I've been through here. But I don't remember. I don't remember where the fucking village was. The only reason I want to go back is because of bookshelves. What is that? There are no leaves on those trees. Did they catch on fire from a lava pool or something? Oh, I could cross, but I could not. Gold is nice. 
I'll also take that obsidian. Biggest find of all those gold. Trying not to. It's risky. Come to me. Come on, bro. All right, let me get some dirt. I don't know how to get dirt. Let's head back. We're burning out of time now. Holy gagging and shit. Nine gold ingots, which we'll need for healing trades. Which that's how I'm gonna get my pearls. So I need to find every bit of gold I can find, or get every gold I find. I mean, you can get a shit ton of gold bastions, but like the thing about bastions is like it's an easy way to fucking die. Basically, like a freaking village raid. It's almost done cooking. It's an enchanted golden apple. I'm gonna put, a, put this at on gold here. 44. It's not enough. We need stacks. More paper. We have a, almost a stack of fucking beef or steak and almost a stack of pork chops. Bro, come on now. There's no way it ain't night right now. Look at the sun. Matter of fact, you can't even see it, so you can't look at it. Well, our dilemma remains, we need fucking sugar cane. Like I said, we need like 72 pieces of paper to use all the leather we have. It's three paper per one leather, so it's 24 times three, which is 72 pieces of leather. We need to find what forty eight more pieces of sugar cane. I'm bringing bed with me. We might be going on a damn voyage. Trying to find fucking sugar cane. I'll tell you man, this would be so much fucking easier if the game didn't get rid of you fucking bone meal and sugar cane. annoying while well, I'm checking chests. It's just annoying. Go. Let me see if we can find that village. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go back to our spawn again. Hey we got a visitor. First interdimensional visitor.
Sugar cane, where are you? I'm not going back home until we get all the sugar cane we need. Like I said, it's 72 pieces of paper. But we're almost, we almost have enough leather, I think, for all the bookshelves. The thing that's all this back is the fucking sugar cane and the paper. A very flat beach. With no sugar cane. There's some right there. Two. There's an island over there. One tree. Accordance. They were almost at spawn. They wasn't even like planning on going to spawn. It spawns like over there somewhere. When we find that abandoned village, it'll help us a lot. Because even if you don't have silk touch, I think each one. Each bookshelf gives you like two to three um, books, so less sugar cane we need. chicken right there what's this at 38 oh we're almost there that was a big fucking find i know for a fact this village is somewhere in this taiga i found it pretty early That's how I got these freaking purple beds. What's up, Fox? Oh, ha ha ha! Found that bitch. I found the village. Library. There's more sugarcane over there for the paper. We might finish the enchantment table sooner than later. I see a cow somewhere. What the fuck? No, I'm leaving you there. It's fucking weird. Where the fuck are the bookshelves? I know they're here. They're obviously not on the side. So let's go back on the other side. Wow. I run away, Fox. Bookshelves, bookshelves. I'm looking for bookshelves on here. Do 
here. Sir. They only give us one book? I guess multiple. They give us 18. So, yeah, six times three. Might be good, man. Honestly, I think our enchantment room might be, or enchantment table might be done with this. If I'm being completely honest. Let's go back real fast and grab that extra sugar cane. It might put us over 48, and then we can. Make that into paper, make the books with that, and then finish up with the bookshelves. We're looking pretty good. Only 30 minutes into the fucking video. Oh yeah, we definitely should be more than 10. Four right there. go it's five let's head back probably get dark before we get back home so there's a negative 300 so we're almost there we just gotta go Gotta get that second number negative one hundred. I think I see my house in the distance right there. There's a man in the other portal. Yeah, it was almost like on a complete just on that plane. Completely straight from my house. Start spawning. How did I get lost? I just got fucking turned around. How the fuck?
That should be up right here. I see it. God, I don't know why I went the complete wrong fucking way. Okay, so we should have enough paper with all this freaking sugar cane in the books that I just got. Oh yeah, baby. 42 books. Which is enough. Make fourteen bookshelves. Which might be enough. Still only at 28. I guess the top row doesn't connect. Alright, we got wood. Let's do this. Still 20, how's it still 28? There we go. That's freaking 30. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the enchantment table finished. Honestly, it took quicker didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it really helped finding that, um... It really helped finding the, uh, abandoned village. I think. Now... I like a bow and arrow. I don't think I have enough silk though. For string. Yeah, I don't. I have a bow right here. Let's see if we get enchanted. We'll do that later. Now, we fish. Hopefully, we get a nice. Some nice things. I'm gonna light this area up. I do some night fishing. I don't know. I don't want mobs ambushing me, even though they probably will anyway. We're done with the enchantment table. Now. 
Now we fish for like a little bit. Let's see what we get. Hoping to get a nice freaking. I'd rather have a nice rod first before I get a nice bow. This is not only against food, XP, and a chance of good gear, but it also is going to end to help us get what we need for the nether. Well, the easiest way to grind XP, in my opinion, is nether uh, fucking ports. But it's a lot riskier. This is pretty safe, and you get good gear while you do this. But obviously less XP. Might be better off just enchanting this rod. And hoping I get lucky, plus this should take forever. I was not taking that long actually. Oh, salmon. It's like 12 salmon right in front of me. Actually, no more, more than that. 13. Four in front of me, four over the distance, and then four deep underneath there. Ooh, does this kind of suck? But once we have our gear enchanted to my liking, then we'll go into the nether. And then once we go nether, we gotta find another fortress. And then once we get another fortress, we gotta kill, kill blazes to get their blaze rods. And that's all, really all we need to do in the nether. We're not gonna worry about getting wither skulls or looting the chests. Don't care. I care about is blade rods for the eyes of Ender. It's getting dark. One more fish, more rotten flesh. It's the only thing we've gotten so far that isn't fish. We're level 30. Why do we lapis lazuli? Do we have any lapis? No. I'm gonna go in the caves then. I forget you need lapis to enchant now too. I had that a while back, but I forgot. Let's go in the caves, man. But we can't enchant without lapis. The caves we go. I'm just glad we are. I don't know why I'm, why I'm going that way. I'm just glad we got our enchantment table up to level 30 so quickly. I could have squeezed into the video, but 
I'm gonna do some fishing too. I didn't want to keep y'all excluded from it if y'all did end up watching this. Lapis lazuli. This is the first time I've gotten down in these caves since I got in diamond armor. right there I didn't even notice before it's been a while since I've been in the old caves four diamonds five diamonds here for lapis though I never thought I'd be hunting for fucking lapis, but here I am. down there. Gold's nice, we do need that for trades, like I said. See any lapis or diamonds? See a lot of mobs though. I see like two spiders, two skeletons, and two creepers.
Sniper. I might just dip. I don't see any lapis. No more diamonds, though. Just one. Sometimes, like, when there's one, there's, like, some hidden. I think that's just literally just one. Yep. Whoa. What is that? Six. I think I'm gonna just head back. Go ahead and chant that rod. way damn mob fucking city down there I'll check one more spot and we'll head up to the surface It's right here, might as well grab it. See like that, see how that's hidden? Here's a skeleton. A fucking bit of gold right here that I never found. I ignored it, I don't know. I think I didn't see this. What is that? 12 gold here? We got 6 diamonds, 12 gold, and about a stack and a half of lapis. That amount of lapis should last us a while. I think it takes like 3 lapis for a level 30 enchantment. That's what, like... 20 enchantments. The axolotls. turn I guess yeah I was like, where the fuck am I? I went the wrong way this is the right way that's dark to perform our first enchantment of the hardcore series first level 30 enchantment
Hey, I like that actually. I didn't ever notice that. I remember they used to get a mod for that. For it to tell you how much. So like one more block and this thing breaks. 1400 blocks and that breaks. If I kill 184 mobs or 1084 mobs, then that breaks. We got luck of the C2, but unfortunately we did not get lure. So we might get a better bow or a fucking rod. Right back to fishing. Squid in here. But lure makes you catch things faster and then. Lure makes you catch things faster and luck of the sea makes you get better stuff. Both of those max out at three. It'd be a screenshot I use for the thumbnail. So far, us look at the sea is not giving us any luck. The only thing we've caught other than fish is fucking rotten flesh. Leather boots. Fuck out of here. Fuck what I want that for. Or nothing special. Just mostly fish. about that if you can't even cook them anymore. This fishing sucks. They nerfed fishing, honestly.
Oh, here we go. I'm breaking three bow. Oh, give me like a lure three rod, man, so I can combine them. I don't even make an anvil for that. And like my catch this next thing, I'm gonna make an anvil. I don't need that. Rhinestone would be nice as well. Should have enough iron. Is it four blocks or three blocks? Three blocks like that, and then. That's like 30 iron to do that. I don't need that to combine stuff. All right. Sure, King's actually going now, but I don't fucking need it. What is that? I don't need that either. So far, the loot we've been getting from fishing has been subpar to say the least it was mostly fish we got rotten flesh boots and a unbreaking three bow here we go we got a fishing rod Breaking three. If that was lure three, I would actually be able to combine it and actually make a pretty decent fishing rod. We just need to get lure three on it. Or like the C3. So the fish alone is just kind of nice to have for food. Nice, a puffer fish. Well, <laughs> fishing got, has been locked last year, but if nothing else, we got food and shit from it, so that's something. I 
that 12 diamonds. Or a stack of fucking pork chops. Another day. We're going to need lure three, man. Let's speed this shit up. Check out the fucking puffer fish. I don't want the fucking puffer fish. I mean, yeah, it's good for making a potion. I don't remember what potion it is. I think it's water breathing or something. I don't fucking know. Come here, fishes. He's been fucking terrible. Does the durability only go down on the fishing rod if you catch fish? Or does it go down every time you reel in? 49 right now. A fish. And a 48. On our fish, still at 48. So I'm guessing durability doesn't increase the higher number. It just makes it to where the lower number goes down. So it doesn't go down every time you use the item. I was hoping it would just increase the bigger number so you knew exactly how many hits you had until you ran out. Right, give me some hard fish. I have luck of the sea too, man. Still 48 after catching two fish. I uh, don't think I'm catching anything. I might just be better off just fucking... Going to the nether and getting quartz. The nether's just so fucking risky, man. Another puffer fish. Fucking lily pad. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> 